you are supposed to explain what you have done. Because most of the functional interviews, most of the people used to say, sir, we are giving the answers in the interview, but finally, offer letter is not released. You are giving the right answer only, but you are not giving the answer as a professional, as an experienced consultant, as a functional consultant. Because functional consultant job is mainly front of your project. When I say front of your project, uh, interacting with the client. You are the first person. You are the first person who will be interacting with the client for requirement gathering and other options, right? So client says that every time he want to speak with functional consultant, right? So here, obviously, the way of explanation is very important. For example, if they ask you, what is enterprise structure? In the interviews, they will ask us, what is enterprise structure? Generally, we will say enterprise structure is a group of organizations will be defined in the hierarchy. We are going to have first enterprise, then divisions, legal entity, business units, reference data sets, and inventory organizations. That's how we'll give the answer. That's correct answer. When you apply as a fresher, but when you apply as experienced consultant, professional consultant, their expectation is enterprise structure. What is enterprise structure configurator means? Enterprise structure corporate configurator is nothing but an organization hierarchy. Whenever we are implementing Oracle Fusion Cloud HCM to the client, we will try to understand the client organization hierarchy, how many countries they have business, how many entities they have, how many organizations they are running across the country or multiple countries. Then we'll go for define the enterprise structure. First, we'll define the enterprise. Within the enterprise, we'll define the divisions. Within the divisions, we are going to have legal entities. This legal entity is associated with LDZ and Ledger. Within the legal entity, we are going to configure the business units and make sure that this business unit is associated with the reference data set to access some jobs, departments, locations, and grades. And within the BU, inventory organizations will be configured if supply chain management is implemented. So this answer is expected. So whatever the previous answer and this one, the answer point of you, it's fine. But the way you are explaining as a professional consultant, this is expected as a functional, especially functional consultant. Because presentation skills are very, very, very important when you are applying as a functional consultant. That's the difference. Every question and answer, every question and answer, we have to speak like this only. For example, if they ask us, can you tell me what is security in cloud HCM? Generally, we'll say that uh, security means uh, roles and data access. Our roles and security profiles will define security and will define data role and will attach. That's answer fine. Obviously, security means uh, in Fusion Cloud HCM, what we do? We'll create a role and then we'll provide the privileges or security profiles and we'll make it as data roles and we'll go for assign this to the users, right? But when we talk as a functional consultant, if they ask us what is security in Cloud HCM, can you elaborate? So security is nothing but in Cloud HCM, when we are implementing human capital, implement human capital management product, as it is RBAC, role-based access control. Once we implement the application, Employees should access either self-information or entire their team information or whoever is reporting to him all the information or entire country information or specific positions data or specific organizations data they wanted to access. In that scenario, we'll go for configure the roles so that user can access the application by using the roles. But when user wants to access the data, 
then we are supposed to go for create a security profile where we have around 10 to 11 security profiles we have like organization security profile, person security profile, position security profile, document type security profile. Like this, we have around 10 to 11 security profiles where we will combine the job roles and security profiles and we'll make it as a data role. And this data role will assign to the employees so that the employees can log in and open the page and they can get the access for the data according to our security profiles. This flow should come that time your interview will be cleared that time the interview will be cleared and our entry also a little bit uh, they may not go in depth because uh, see uh, the way of this flow will will not come in a single day it takes time maybe one week or two weeks or three or four or one month or one and a half month maybe two months but you have to start from today and start keep on practice one fine day will get this flow how we can go for improve this flow we are going to teach in our placement batch. That is the major one. So two things we are going to teach in our placement batch. One, how to clear the interviews. How to prepare for interviews. It's not like explain the answer. Explain the answer as an experienced consultant, as a professional way. That is important. The second one is assignment. Multiple times we have to perform the assignment. We all know that either security profile or roles or approval management or for every concept, we'll do an assignment. For example, security profile. What we'll do is we'll create one organization security profile where we will choose the classification as department and we'll try to hide or display the department data and we'll try to populate it. Right. So that's an organization security profile. But we have to create a couple of security profiles like country security profile, document type security profile, position security profile, like this. What will happen if you create multiple transactions or multiple assignment on the same component? It will improve your confidence level. And also the pages, whatever the tasks you are going to open and do the work, will memorize in the interview when you are going to explain. They'll ask you, have you created any time document of records? Yeah, I created. Can you tell me what are the options we have while creating document of records? So if you do it one example and perform it, 